Amazon sellers, I've got two huge stories for you today for our inside information. One has to do with Google Trends. I'm checking them every day, and I'm going to talk to you about the trends that are on Google right now and how it will likely affect your business. Number two, IP complaints may be inauthentic and price gouging slash fair market pricing violations. What do all of these infractions from Amazon have in common and how you can expect to deal with them going forward? First story is the Google Trends Report and it's all about returns and it's all about returns at calls. Here are the breakout searches on Google right now. How to return Amazon items to Kohl's. Can I return Amazon items to Kohl's? Amazon return at Kohl's. Now I shop at Kohl's, but I think I'm gonna stop because it looks like the store whose logo is live in your comfort zone is doing nothing with Amazon except putting sellers outside of your comfort zone. Because you know what happens when there is a run on returns. We see it every single January. What you see are Amazon accepting returns that the products are not packaged properly, things missing from the boxes. Amazon puts them back in inventory. They send them back to consumers. And who gets hit with a you sold as new? You do. Intellectual property right complaints, IP complaints, rights owner complaints, whatever you call it, when a brand makes a complaint against you, may be unauthentic. When Amazon is giving you a hard time and Amazon is questioning whether or not your products are genuine or counterfeit, they want to see where they're coming from. And also the latest catastrophe of the tons and tons of baseless price gouging complaints that are now being phrased more in the line of fair pricing policy violations. What do all these things have in common? As we've seen the price gouging and the fair market violations kind of mature, we're starting to see Amazon suspend you less and less, ask you for plans of action, simply take away that listing and let them build up on your account before your account goes down. That is extremely similar to intellectual property right complaints, where most sellers will not get knocked out of the box by one IP complaint, but you never know whether it's going to be the fifth, the 10th or the 50th, which is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Same thing with maybe inauthentics. So what do you need to do? What are we recommending? We're recommending that you deal with each and every IP complaint, each and every maybe inauthentic complaint, and every single fair pricing policy violation as they come in, even if your account is not suspended. Why? Nobody knows how many of these infractions your account could withstand. Nobody knows what Amazon's algorithm is up to. So if you address these issues as they come in with a killer, concise, and persuasive plan of action, we believe that your account will be healthier and your business safer going forward. Thank you for watching. Please make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, any specific concerns, scroll down right now and write a note to Arthur, our incredible video editor. Write to Arthur and say, hey Arthur, can you have CJ talk about this issue? Hey Arthur, Great job on the video editing. And please join me again tomorrow for Amazon Sellers Lawyer Inside Information.